up beautiful people it's your girl Janaya Aaliyah and welcome or welcome back to my channel as y'all can see by the thumbnail and the title today I am doing a what's in my cosmetology kit video um as many of y'all know I recently started cosmetology school not too too long ago but it has been a couple of months now and so I thought this was you know a very good video to do because I have had many people on TikTok kind of comment and ask me what's all in my kit and child I'm gonna show y'all today I'm gonna show y'all today. So for those of y'all who may not know what I'm talking about, typically when you enroll in cosmetology school, you do get like, you know, kit, like a little starter pack. So the basic tools and utensils that you will need to be able to complete certain services, maybe like finger waves, silk press, whatever. So with that being said, today I am going to go through and show, show y'all what y'all got. And just as a disclaimer, I have bought and purchased, you know, and added certain things to my kit that, you know, weren't originally there. So I will definitely clarify going through that. But do just be aware. Obviously, if we don't go through, obviously, if we don't go to the same school, we probably won't have the same exact stuff in our kit. So nine times out of ten, you may have more stuff in your kit than me or even less stuff in your kit than me. Nonetheless, I'ma still show y'all what I got in mind. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before I show y'all everything that's in my kit, I'ma show y'all the bag, but I'ma show y'all one of the most important parts of the kit. So first thing first, oh, this is my kit. This is my kit. My kit is this big fat black duffel bag, which I love. I think, you know, it's, it's helped me uh, work out. Nonetheless, before I open this bag, I'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all the first thing that I got, obviously, which no matter what school you go to, you better get a mannequin or that's a red flag. But yeah, so I got a mannequin and this is just an example of like one of the mannequins I have. This is not the exact one I got for school. This is one that my dad bought for me like a long time ago but i recently you know revamped it gave it a little cut or whatever but this is just an example because you will get a mannequin in yours now although this is not the exact same one the hair texture is the same of my mannequin now i have heard from like other friends and whatnot that at their school they got mannequins with different hair texture so they maybe got one with this texture and then got one with like this texture even though i kind of still press her out this one she has more of like a kinky straight type texture and i was practicing some um extensions on her but this mannequin has more like a kinky straight type texture and then there are other mannequins like on amazon and stuff that have like kinky curly textures curly wavy and then you also can do like alterations to your mannequin so that's things such as you know a perm rod set where you know make it curly and stuff like that or a relaxer where you can make it a little more straight so first things first I got a mannequin I only got one these extra ones was my addition so I only got one straight hair mannequin okay now on to what's in my kit y'all now ugh. now don't judge me because my kit I try to organize it but it, it ain't it ain't the cutest all the time but I have tried to organize it since because when I first got it and opened all my stuff sorry that's my lunch when I first got it and like opened all my stuff, took all my stuff out of the bags and boxes, everything was just jumbled and messed up in this um, big duffel bag. But for those of y'all who don't know, when you do go in to take the state board exam, you're literally gonna have to have your stuff in your kit labeled and organized so that way you're able to, you know, use it efficiently on the exam. So first things first, I have a little baggie and I got all of these from the beauty supply store. These little bags did not come in my kit, so. I added them on. So this is like my little comb bag. And I also have one of my round brushes in here. Because we were practicing round brushes um, blow drying. So this is my comb bag. And in one of my previous videos, I kind of briefly mentioned carbon combs. And so this would be an example of a carbon comb right here. Obviously, visibly, it looks like a regular, regular comb. But you can feel the difference in the material and it also will not like melt or anything when i'm going through with a straightener so here's okay so here's my carbon comb versus a regular plastic comb let me sit these down so y'all can see carbon comb is on right here and then regular plastic comb and so as you can see i've used them both with heat but you can see the one on the left or the right i don't know which one it is to you 
already is a little, you know, looking a little raggedy or whatever due to the heat. Okay. So yeah, so this is just a bag with all my little combs, cutting comb, all that good stuff. And my kit came with a set of like just all the basic combs, all purpose, um, tail comb, cutting comb, all that good stuff. But I also went back later on and I went to the beauty supply store and I bought myself uh, basically a whole other set of all carbon combs because those are the combs that I prefer to use. So yeah, and then also my kit did not come with a round brush. So I also bought this round brush from, from the beauty supply store because I prefer to use it. And I learned a little cool thingy. I never knew that these were on the bottom of round brushes to kind of help with parting so it comes out and then Ugh. you can just put it back in the opposite way so i got this little baggie to keep them in there and organize and i have to do it at like a little angle because it is like a really really small bag nonetheless for now it does the trick i'm pretty sure maybe later on down the line i will find some other bags that i can use to organize my kit but until then ooh, until then this is my comb and round brush bag then next up i have another bag which i'm not gonna go through this one y'all because i think y'all get the point but i have another bag that's literally for my brushes so this is my bigger round brush per, uh plus my chemical brush i have a little nail brush um i have another bristle brush in there and that's about all that's in this bag right here and obviously since they're clear it helps me see them better then next up and this one was such a must have y'all like it, it was just necessary then i have about five bags of my rollers right because when my rollers came they were basically in this big old box and then they were kind of lined up on top of each other because you see how like they fit into one another so when i opened it I had nowhere to put it but the box so i just had that box in my bag and anytime i hit a speed hump or some rollers go flying everywhere so as you can see i kind of just separated them and put them all into these little baggies and that way you know they're nice and secure for when i need them oh yeah and by the way i bought like i said i bought all of these bags from the beauty supply store but the roller sets actually did come in my kit next up i have this little clear baggie right here that includes all of my little alligator clips because i do prefer to use alligator clips when I'm like sectioning hair or I need my um or I need hair to be healed out of the way. And these are just alligator clips that I've collected over the time that come with wigs and you know that I've maybe bought from the store. And so I put these into a little bag. None of these items right now um came in my kit, but like I said, these are things that I've already been using and I already had that I sanitized and put into this little kit. And this bag as well is a bag that I received like with the wig. Then next up, this is probably my favorite part of my bag. I got these brushes. I got these, what are they called? Paddle brushes, right? And then this one is a vent brush. So I got all of these from the Beauty Supply Store. They are red by Kiss. And this is how they look. I really love the color on them. And I wanted to get something like different that everybody else at my school didn't have. So that way, if I potentially left a brush or something at school, especially these paddle brushes, Oh, somebody out there cutting grass. Especially these paddle brushes, I will automatically know that it's mine because ain't nobody else got these. And these paddle brushes change the blow dryer game. Like that is one huge thing that I've learned. So, hence why I have so many. And I haven't, I also haven't yet found a bag to store these in. So these, these just in my bag are all willy nilly. And let me give y'all an inside look at the bag. Oh, this is how my bag looks right now, y'all. So. So y'all know kind of what I'm pulling out of. And I try to, you know, the bags help keep it organized, but you know, it could be better. So then next I have my little sheer and um, yeah, my little sheer bag. So eventually we will go into like barbering, I guess, and cutting hair and stuff. So I have one set of shears and this set of shears I actually bought a few years ago from the beauty well not probably probably sometime this year actually i bought these from the beauty plus store they're red by kiss um didn't cost too much nothing crazy nothing fancy but they do the trick and these 
are the pairs of shears that came in my kit. So we got um, this small pair of shears right here. And I prefer like, you know, a longer pair. So that's why, you know, I use my, I use the bigger ones. And then this other pair of shears, this is a, oh, it's a, this is a single tooth thinning shear. So we actually haven't even used these in class yet, but they came in our kit. And so this is how this one looks. Hold on. Yeah. So y'all get the point. That's how that one looks. And both of the ones that we got in our kit came from Burmax, the brand Burmax. And then along with that, we have a Scalp Master Hair Shaper that we have not yet gotten into using because we you know haven't started doing any lineups or anything but this is basically you know that little blade that they use for lineups and whatnot so that's still in the box because we haven't gotten to that part and we have not used them yet so yep and then last but not least in this pouch this is our little manicure set oh it's falling all over the place but that we got from when we do manicures i just dropped some but yeah that's what's in this red pouch Ugh. And the manicure set comes with a pair of cuticle cutters, um, some other things, a cuticle pusher, an emery board, some other things. Baby, I ain't no nail tech. I don't know. I don't know. But nail stuff. Next up, this is like my little clip Ziploc bags. So whether it's a butterfly clip, a pin curl clip, a duckbill clip, I keep it in here. And this is also where I keep my perm rods at as well. I just put these in here um, at some point and I just kept them in here because I don't even know where I got this Ziploc bag from. But I put them in here and they fit. So this is where I keep them now. So I'll show y'all up close. Pin curls, uh, perm rods, and duckbill clips. And all of these, I, oh yeah, and also butterfly clips. You can't really see them, but butterfly clips are in here as well. And all of these items I did receive in my actual kit when I enrolled in the school. So yeah. Along with that, I have received, ugh. along with that, I received a big box of gloves, which I have not used yet, but this came with my kit as well when I enrolled in the school. So when we do start doing chemical services and stuff, these will be the gloves that I'll be using that came with my kit. Then I received this blow dryer in my kit when I enrolled. And so this is the Ultra Elite Blow Dryer by Scalp Master. And you know, yeah. And then here's a little comb attachment and here's the duck wheel attachment that came with it. And this blow dryer is pretty good. I would say it compares to my um to my red red by kiss blow dryer that I have at home. It compares to it. I think they're about the same, do about the same. Now I will show y'all the blow dryer that I bought. I have not yet added to my kit because I love it so much. I don't even want to take it to school. It's given I got an iPhone, but my mom told me to leave it home. But one little perk about this compared to my red by kiss blow dryer, which I um did take to school a few times is this has a really really long cord so you're able to stretch and get to the top of somebody's head and stuff like that so you're able to do a whole lot more maneuvering with this but before i move on let me show y'all this spurt um let me show y'all this blow dryer so this is the red by kiss that i was wait is this the red by kiss yeah this is the red by kiss blow dryer that i was comparing the white one to that i said you know i think they're equal in like quality and whatnot but only reason i brought this one back home is because the cord is a whole lot shorter so without an extension cord i'm not able to really do all the moving and maneuvering i need to do when i'm like you know potentially working on a client and whatnot so brought this one back home but this right here this i gotta make sure i get the name right is the silver bird con air pro blow dryer and I'll make sure I link this in the description box because this right here, don't play with her. This is like the best blow dryer ever. And I know it was, oh yeah, I need to clean that vent out. I know it was good because my auntie has been using this blow dryer for years. And every hairstylist I see has this blow dryer. So I love it. And I love it so much. Ugh. Oh yeah, I gotta, oh yeah, let me clean this up. Oh wait, no, I think this was supposed to be in here. Okay. Maybe it was. Okay. Yeah, I think that belongs in here. But yeah, 
I love it so much. Is it supposed to be in here? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm gonna put it back on. Look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna put it back on there. Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yeah, I love it so much that I don't even take it to school. I haven't taken this to school yet. This is also the blood dryer that my instructor has too. That's why I was like, oh yeah, this this good right here. This right here, this will drive your uh, electricity bill up. Love it though. Back to the bag shenanigans. So, did that, did that. Oh, sorry, that's my, uh, that's my, that's my smoothie cup. I did receive the white blow dryer with my kit. And so along with that, I also received this, um, get out of here. I also received this electric Marcel iron. Now, for those of y'all who don't know what this is, if y'all have ever seen those, you know, curling irons, the ones that literally sit in a little stove thing and they put them in and pull them out and they get super duper hot. This is the electric version of that. And so if you've ever used a pair of them, then you know like they're able to like roll without you physically like rolling your wrist as you would do when you're curling on a flat iron or a curling iron. They're able to like literally roll like this. And you know, I these things so dang hard to use, but yeah. So we got an electric pair of these and we've kind of been on and off learning how to use them in order to kind of replicate the same, you know, effect that the actual not electrically powered Marcel's give. So this came in my kit as well. And I haven't, look, they, they still wrapped up. I haven't used these. Then last but not least, these things I personally contributed to my kit as well. But I went ahead and purchased a pair of um, porcelain ceramic Babyliss Pro flat irons. And if y'all familiar with my channel, then y'all know I already have about three other pairs of the titanium Babyliss flat irons. And I do love them. I absolutely love them with all my heart. But um, obviously through being in school, I learned that if you're natural and you do want to kind of retain your curl pattern, it's better to um, press out natural hair with ceramic because apparently like it, it listen, I'm still in school, but it kind of balances the heat more evenly. That way you're able to, your hair is able to bounce back. Whereas in titanium, you're more likely to burn somebody's hair off with those. Not really literally burn it off, but heat damage is more likely to occur with titaniums than it may be with these. So I just went ahead and got them. And as y'all can see, they kind of scratched up a little on the sides because we have little inserts at our stations and it scratches them up. But nonetheless, these really are good flat irons and I do love them. And I guess, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Then I also have my Kiss um, hot comb, which I just put in my bag for when I do use it. I haven't used it yet at school. But you know, when you just want to get the, you know, get the edges or get the kitchen or really just get up on the roof, you know, get up on the roof, whatever. I put these in my, um, in my kit. Okay. And you don't really have to be too particular about separating your house stuff from your school stuff, unless you want to buy extra stuff, which I was like, I thought about it and I was like, that would be a waste of money. Cause when I graduate, I'm just going to have two of everything. Like that's dumb. So I don't separate, but I do like when I'm doing my hair, I'll just bring my kit with me in here to do my hair and then put all my stuff back in my kit so I can go to school. So I have another pair of flat irons in here as well. Just gotta get down there and get it cause it'd be hiding. So these are my um Babyliss Pro, what is the name? These are the Babyliss Pro Prima 3100 and I'll link these in my description as well. But if y'all are wondering, they're, all this stuff is also for the most part in my Amazon storefront. Okay, but yeah, so these are the Babyliss Pro Prima 3100s. And like I just told y'all, I have not been like straightening hair, like silk pressing out with um, titanium plates, even though they are really, really good. And if you're careful, hey, no harm done. But I keep these in my kit because these are super duper good for curling hair, doing barrel curls, all kinds of stuff. Like these are the GOATs of curling hair. So with that being said, I keep these in my kit because I really love them. And some people do prefer to use the curling iron. I'm not some people. So I keep these Prima 3100s in my kit because I love them. And obviously I purchased them. I actually got these on sale 
last Christmas. So if you're interested, wait till Christmas so they can go on sale. And oh yeah, and then last but not least, I will show y'all some of the products that I bought because I also have just a few products in my kit. Although I'm not like currently eligible to um, do hair at school, I do take products with me because I'll do my own hair at school. So products that I have, I have the Kimra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. It smells really good and I really, really like it. Then I have the Kimra Platinum hot spray this is also a um heat protectant and it says it gives a firm hold in high humidity conditions then i have the design essentials um what's this called heat protectant serum then i have the kenra silkening mist and then last but not least i have the kenra daily provision leave-in conditioner and then the kenra anti-humidity spray and as y'all can see it's not that i swear by camera or anything it's just that when you're a cosmetology student you um are able to get access into like salon centric cosmoprof all the um professional salon stores or whatever so i'll be going in there and they got discounts and so i get them it was buy one get one 50 percent off and so i got them oh yeah y'all i almost forgot about this one but sorry I couldn't, I, I had to come back. Okay, last but not least, I have this chair mannequin stand. So with your mannequin, you will also get a little table stand. Typically the ones that like screw and connect to like a table or a shelf or whatever. But I feel like it was more realistic to get like a mannequin stand that you could literally slide onto a chair. And it kind of replicates like the client experience. So I ordered this off Amazon. I will make sure I link that down below along with any other items that i purchased that you guys may want to purchase as well so but just know this right here this thing is a godsend it's a lifesaver and i love it and all my classmates love it so with that being said chair mannequin stand okay okay but with that being said y'all it's been real oh it's been real and that was everything that is in my cosmetology kit that I carry around with me to and from school every stinking day. By the time I get my 1500 hours, I promise y'all these arms are going to be, just be ready. But hopefully that answered any questions that y'all had or have. If there are any other things that you, you know, may be questioning, please feel free to just leave a comment below. Y'all already know I have not gotten my Instagram back as of right now. So when I do, definitely feel free to um message me on there as well. But thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. You already know. Please smash, smack the subscribe button down below. And I will see y'all on my next video.